the foreign meat molecule NU5GC tends to accumulate, particularly in the lining of hollow organs, where carcinomas like breast cancer develop inside your glands, and in the lining of blood vessels, where atherosclerosis occurs. Evidence? for a novel human-specific xenoautoantibody response against vascular endothelium. The NU5GC accumulation may facilitate production of anti-NU5GC antibodies and further aggravate chronic inflammation in atherosclerosis progression, in addition to just aggravating cancer. Here you can see it stained in red, lining the aorta of a human autopsy sample. And here you can actually see it inside atherosclerotic plaques, providing multiple pathways for accelerating inflammation in this disease. Remember, we lost the ability to make this substance millions of years ago. Whether it's feeding inflammation to our cancer or to our heart disease, it all came from the animal products in our diet. Taken together, these findings suggest a mechanism whereby anti-NU5GC antibodies can initiate, perpetuate, and or exacerbate an inflammatory response at the endothelium, the, the lining of our arteries, potentially playing a role in disease states such as atherosclerosis, where vascular inflammation is involved. NU5GC is a novel dietary and human-specific xenoautoantigen that may exacerbate a variety of vascular pathologies. They go on to note that if we actually ate what the USDA recommends for protein in the form of meat and dairy, we could ingest as much as 10 mg of NU5GC per day, which is 10 mg more than we evolved to have in our bodies, since as a you know, species we stopped making it millions of years ago before we started eating meat. Novel therapeutic approaches to reducing or dampening flares of immunologic responses against the endothelium could include reduction of dietary NU5GC intake and accumulation through simple diet-based interventions. Well, not so novel, perhaps, but definitely simple. This inflammatory cancer promoter has never been reported in plants.